morning everybody it's story time with gordon and me gordon are you okay well i want to go back to play school oh i know you do you're missing all your friends aren't you i'm bored i know everybody's getting bored i know hopefully lockdown will end soon and you'll be able to get back to school okay Yes. yes. Anyway, we've got a story. Oh. And it is about school and college or uni. And about all the poor children. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. should we start? Yes. Okay, it's called The Forgotten Generation. Some scream silently, appearing to cope well. Others scream out loud whilst coping with their hell. <coughs> yes. Yes, just like that. <laughs> Desperately dying of boredom, self-confinement to their rooms. Our teenagers have been forgotten. This should be their time to bloom. They are slowly wilting like a plant that is unnourished. Please give them life again so our teenagers can flourish. So please vaccinate the teenagers and please inject the staff. Return them to school and college for they've forgotten how to laugh. I want to go and laugh with all my friends. I know you do. Never mind. Hopefully soon you'll be laughing and having fun with them, Gordon. Yes! OK. They are the silent screamers, coping but inside crying. I know of some who are depressed. They feel they're slowly dying. For example, take my kids, just one school year apart, but coping so very differently, I can see it breaks my heart. One appears to be OK, but she looks quite forlorn. She stayed on at school, was excited about sixth form. But thanks to COVID-19, her sixth form life has not begun. Stuck home in her room all day, I'm sad for her and everyone. She is a very good girl and she doesn't really moan, but I can't stand it because in lockdown she's always on her phone. It is a permanent attachment, but at least she's with her friends. It's the only way to socialise, she asks Mum, will this ever end? I spent a fortune on her prom dress. It was cancelled. What a shame. All that disappointment because coronavirus came. Her tap and ballet modern. All dance classes, they were stopped. Her acting and her singing. Of this, she has been robbed. She used to sing around the house. They were singing all the time. But now the house is silent. What's the effect on this girl of mine? My son, one year older, at 18, now a man, stuck at home with mum and dad, is not what he had planned. Will I be a man one day? You will. You're going to be a big eight man one day. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be very long before you are, because life goes very quickly. <laughs> I see it very clearly. It's written on the wall, the effect this lockdown has on him. I'm scared he's heading for a fall. I don't recognise my son. I see his desperation from within. He is a silent screamer and I am afraid for him. He never was an extrovert, disliked college, but all the same. Studies alone now in his room. It is a crying shame. I see a real depression. I have cause now for concern. I see his desperation. At home, it's hard for him to learn. He says he is OK, but I see that he is not. His confidence had been improving with the part-time job he'd got. But he didn't get a chance to shine. The virus stopped his plans. He needs his independence so he can become a man. The little confidence he'd gained has now well and truly gone. He hides inside his hoodie. With no friends, there is no fun. I think that girls cope better chatting with friends while on the phone. But our boys are suffering badly when they are home alone. Girls never stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. We like to chat. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, us yeah, girls yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My kids would feel better if they went for a walk each day. But it's a useless conversation. They don't see it in this way. We talk of mental health. How many will this pandemic now affect? Our young adults are confined whilst the rules they must respect. They've lost an important year. They're coping at their best. But our teenagers are struggling, confined to house arrest. I know the government is trying hard. There is no one to blame. But all the same, I think it is a crying shame. They are the forgotten ones. Teenage years are always tough. Please get them back to college so they can do some exciting stuff. 
please vaccinate the teenagers and please inject the staff. There are now too many kids who have forgotten how to laugh. They're dying on the inside. I'm crying for their pain. I wish everything was back to normal so their life they can regain. The end. There. That was a bit of a serious one, wasn't it, Gordon? It was. But everybody needs to get back, all these poor youngsters. It's not good for them, is it? It's been nearly a year now. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Well, I suppose I'd better get back up to my room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going to go and do some studies. Well, I don't know about studying, but I'm going to go and play with my toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go and play with your toys, all yes, right? Yes. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Tick tock. It's now a hot chocolate o'clock because it's very cold out here. Bye bye. bye. Others scream out loud while coping with their health. You were going to scream that. You forgot to swim, Gordon. <laughs> oh, start again. Yes. Please give them life again, so our teenagers can flourish. Fuck. Right, go on then, pause. <laughs>